Okay, how to create the perfect marketing strategy. I'm gonna be honest with you, there isn't a perfect marketing strategy. Reason, because a lot of things change in the world and daily a lot of things change and you can even have the best strategy, but most time there will something will happen you never expect that or something. But keep in mind when you create a strategy, you always have something that you need to have in your strategy because that's really important. And those things, we're gonna talk about that. One of them is know your target group. Most people, they do not know their target group. And I'll be like, yeah, what are you doing? You're asking who am I and why I'm saying this? The thing is, most time when I create contracts and I see some marketing agency and I'll be like, do you know what you're doing? Do you know where you're going with your customer? Reason why I'm saying this is because when they create a contract or when they have something in mind, it doesn't always in line with the customer. Do you want to be like that? I don't think so. So it's important to know, okay, who's my customer and what do they need? And most time it's all about they invest money in something and how do they get the money back? If you know that, that's good. Some situation you need to know their customer, how that works. So you need to know their target audience. And that's really important. Most people underestimate that. Sure, everybody can create an um, uh, ad. Sure, everybody can create an ad. But nobody, not everyone, can create a good ad. And that's something you need to keep in mind. So it's important that you know your target audience. Second, keep in mind you need to set the budget. And sometimes it's difficult for you to explain to your customer, it's going to cost this much. This is the cost for my services and this is the cost that you need to pay in order to put the advertisement in the eyes of the target group, or target audience. Simple, right? But most time when a customer look at the price, they look at the total price. They do not look how much you cost or how much it's going to cost them. They look, okay, how much do I need to pay now? And you need to explain to them, okay, you pay this much now. This is when you start to get it back. If you experience marketing, marketing for a company and you've done this before, you know when it's going to work or not. If you don't have experience, it's hard to explain this because you don't have track record in order to show them. If you don't have that, there is a solution for that. At the beginning, you're going to start for a reasonable price or do it for free. And then when you start to see some, let's say, development in what you're doing, then you're asking a lot of money for. You can use it as a test. I'm not saying you should do it for every client for free. No, no, no. You need to build a track record. You need to build something in order to make sure that you can create some mistakes in there. And when you think about it, okay, I I can do it, and you sh you you have a track record, then approach some um, real customer to do it. You can start, for example, with a store around the corner or with a small business, help them out with the marketing, and based on your track record, you can show, hey, I already did it for this business, and it's similar. That's how you can start. But you need to set the budget. Budget is important. Know your target group. The second, brand well. Brand well means that when you go out there, you put an advertisement, make sure that everything is the same. The layout is the same, the font is the same, because if you don't do that, it's not going to create a brand for your customer. And most people forget about that. They just create an ad, that's it. Doesn't work like that. Seriously, it doesn't work like that. Even if you have a logo, a logo is a logo, but a company needs to have colors, colors that, um, that they use. And if a company doesn't have that, try to stick with one color or three colors because later you can implement it in the brand. That's something you need to think about that. And you have resources. You have a lot of resources online. You have resources where you can create design, match the color, where you can create um, posts, Facebook posts, or other social media posts, so you can post consistently. You can use Canva, for example. You can use that program. It's for free. You can use it. If you start doing well, you can use the pay version. I'm not promoting them. I'm not affiliated with them or whatever. I'm just saying. Yeah? What the most important is, and seriously, what the most important is when you create something, you need to measure it. Does it work or not? And measure, I mean, okay, when you get a couple of 
traffic do the people buy so it's also important to know how can i measure that if i put out an advertising out there how do i get a return on, return on investment and how do i know what's happening you need to keep track of it most platforms offer you the services like keeping track google offer you facebook offer you that it works nice but most time you can create it yourself you can create a google sheet to track record and then you see okay this work and this doesn't work this ads work or it doesn't work based on that you get experience it's gonna it's gonna cost a lot of time but you can use this in a follow-up company that's how you need to start so if you're a student out there if you're starting start like that it's gonna get you a lot further in life so if you have question about this or if you have question about advertising and marketing feel free to go in the law center and ask me question about it and yeah i will see you in the next video